Clear. Okay, B taxi. Set our fuel totalizer, avionics are on. Fan is not required. Seatbelts on. Carbon monoxide detector is on. We got the ATIS altimeter set. Transponders on and squawking VFR. Lights, we got our strobes on and our wigwag on. Pedo heat's not necessary. We're not going to preset the autopilot because we're staying in the pattern. Don't need a flight plan. Start our timer here. And when we move, we'll check the, test the brakes and uh, also the AHARs. Okay, ready to taxi. All clear. Okay, while we're taxiing here, I can tell you a little bit about this plane. It is a 1999 model, Thorpe T-18. Uh, it has a Lycoming IO360 in it. Constant speed prop. Uh, it's a nice little bird. It was uh, built in 99 and 2000. Uh, the builder brought it to Oshkosh and won a Lindy Award for Best Scratch Built. So uh, it's got a little nice little pedigree. It's very well constructed. Uh, I've owned it for uh, since last summer, so about maybe nine months ago I, I bought it. Uh, flew it back here from Maryland. And uh, I've had to do a bunch of work to it and upgrades. But uh, now it's kind of how I want it. So I've been just spending some time getting used to it again. Uh, it's been pulled apart most of the winter. And I also had a surgery on my foot that uh, didn't allow me to fly. So part of what I'm doing right now is just kind of getting back in the swing of things. Um, so, you know, it's not the best landings all the time. It's not the best everything, but I'm mostly videoing this just for myself. And, uh, you know, if people want to watch, that's just fine. Okay, so I like to do the cigars checklist just off my head, and then I back it up with the checklist. So controls. Free and correct. Feel good. Instruments. Altimeter is looking good. Oil pressure is good. Oil temp is still coming up. I like to take my time here before the run up to make sure my oil temp is uh, at least off the peg into the yellow here. Ammeter is looking good. Fuel pressure is up. Gas is on. Fuel flow is all set. Mixture will come up before we do the run-up, but I want to warm it up a little bit. Attitude. Let's set the pitch trim. Uh, aileron trim, since I'm by myself, I'm going to run it full right. Flaps. I like to run them all the way down to about 25 to 30 degrees, which is where I usually land run them back up to make sure they're working and then we're to the run-up area run-up time in my checklist but uh, my oil temp isn't quite up where I want it so I'm just gonna give it a minute here in the meantime I'll just kinda look everything over and verify radios all set I'm on the AWOS here on my COM1 got the CTAF on my COM2 and we're broadcasting and listening on COM2, and COM1 is uh, on standby. Goal today is just do uh, three takeoffs and landings here, and probably put it away and go home for the day. All right, so I'll skip the run-up step of my checklist for now. Just go to switches and safety. Switches are where I want them, up here. Autopilot's off, avionics are on. Down here. I have my wigwag light on and my strobe, which I want. All my pumps and my pedo heat are off. My flaps are up. Alright, we're going to back taxi the runway for now. We will complete our checklist on the other end. Roqua traffic, experimental five zero eight Maco, back taxi runway 11, Roqua.
nice part about these Thorps is, uh, although it's a tail dragger and, you know, it's not great to see over the nose, if you kind of crane your neck up, you can see, make sure you're right on the center line. So you don't have to ask turn too much. I just pop my head up every once in a while and then I just kind of watch the edge of the runway off to the side. Okay, now we're done with the run up pad on the other end of the runway. Ready to do our run up. We're well into the yellow now. We got great temperatures, so here we go. Do a little run up quick. Our prop. Make sure the boost pump is working. We got fuel pressure. All our gauges look good. Okay, run up's complete. Alright, now, like I said, I like to run through a checklist here. Make sure. We are all good. Okay, I think we're good to go. Like set, our mixture will come up here when we pull on the runway. Uh, this runway does have a little bit of a, I'd call it a ramp here at the end where the older part of the runway meets the newer part. I always like to get past that because otherwise it seems like right about the time you want to rotate, you hit that bump and it kind of throws you in a weird way. So, we are going to taxi out past that a little bit and then we'll go. Broker traffic experimental Pfizer Lamaco departing runway one one. I'm gonna stay in the pattern. Broke one. Alright, we're gonna taxi up where we wanna be. Mixture's full rich. Fuel's on. Gauges are looking good. Everything looks great here. Let's taxi up to our spot. Alright, here we go. Heels on the floor. A very slight right crosswind. Full power. There we go. Yeah, that crosswind is so light, no problem. Alright, we're climbing out at 120. There's 500 feet over the ground. Probe traffic experimental by Zuli Mako, left crosswind 1 1, Roqua. I, I have to pull power in the crosswind here, or else I'll blow through my altitude. Oh, yeah, I already blew through it. So we gotta start our descent already. Broke traffic experimental by Zuli Mako, left downwind, 1-1, one, one, broke one. Alright, gas is on. Undercare is down lock, makes your prop full fine. Switches are where we want them. Seat belts are on. We're in flap range here, so we're gonna put our Flaps down. It's about where we want to be. Trim up for it. Try to maintain 100. Alright, now I need some power. We're finally getting to our altitude. Alright, we're a beam. We're going to start our descent. Broke traffic experimental ties early Mako. We'll turn them left base. 1 1, Broke. for about 95 on the base base leg. There's 95. Finals clear. Broke traffic experimental turn in final 1-1. One, one. Broke well. Okay, there's 95 on 100 now. Let's slow it, slow it down here. Try to get it up to about 90-ish. There's 
90. Get out center line here. Feet are alive. A little bit of sink there. Crosswind, clean it up, lean it up. Broke traffic, experimental five zero lima, go back taxiing one one broke. Well. Good. Runway is clear. Here we go. Broke draft experimental turn final one one for Oakwa. A little lower than I want to be here. Just a little bump of power. Alright, right on center line, rudders are alive. I'm going to get that stick in my gut this time. Stick in my gut. That was not great. The bouncer. Roke traffic experimental Pfizer Lee Maco departing runway one one stay in the pattern for Oakwell. Let's get on the center line here. Full power. Had a little bit too much noise down trim on that one. Broke traffic experimental turn final one one for Oakwell. Come on, Jeff. Get out of the way. Alright, 95 right on center line. Traffic experimental Pfizer Lima Echo is clear room A11 broke one. Okay, we're on the ground. 
Right, we're leaned up. Switches are fine where we want them. Everything looks good here. I'll run through my after landing checklist real quick. Flaps are up. We're leaned. Trim. I just leave on that back limit for now. All right. I'm gonna taxi back to the hangar. Well, it was pretty good. I think my last landing was the best, but my pattern wasn't great on it. Then some of my other landings, I had a good pattern, and uh, the landing wasn't great, but we're learning. That's what we're here for. This is definitely not a video about how to land a tail dragger with perfection. If nothing else, there's probably a lot in here you can pick apart as what not to do. You know, I know I missed a radio call today that I should have made. Um... That's about the only procedural thing I've caught so far, but we'll see if I watch this video back. I may miss some. I blew through the pattern altitude twice. I blew the blew through the altitude twice, um, which is really easy to do in this plane, especially when you're solo. So I just got to remember to start pulling that power earlier if I'm staying in the pattern. But usually if you're going somewhere, you don't really care. You're just climbing out anyway. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully this video turned out a little bit okay. I'd like to rewatch it and use it to learn. That's what I'm doing with these. I hope you enjoy it if you're watching it. Uh, if you have any tips or suggestions or want to call me out for all the mistakes I made, please throw them in there. I want to hear it. Let me have it. I'm not scared. <laughs> so, uh, all right, till next time. That's it. Mixture, master, and mags all off. Let's run through one last checklist here before I put it away to make sure I've done everything. So the lights are off how we want them. I always leave my strobe on so that I don't accidentally leave my master on, but everything else is shut off. Mixture, master, mags, carbon monoxide detectors off, headsets off. ELT is not honking at me. Anyway, stopped our timers. We're all good.